All right, so let's uh, walk through this. So what you see here is a model that's put out by the Climate Prediction Center, and it has this area highlighted in red. It has two areas highlighted in red, but we're more concerned about the one closer to home, right? So let's dive into it because these graphics have been circulating around, and I'm sure a lot of you have questions, just like my neighbor, Madison. Hey, Madison. All right, so what this is showing is it's showing from September 26th to October 2nd. It looks like conditions are favorable for a tropical system to form. Now going beyond that, where does that system want to go? Well, that's when we have the uncertainties start to make a play. So today, the National Hurricane Center did highlight that area with a 20% chance, which is a very low probability at this time, for development over the next several days. Now we, we when we look at the ensemble models, we have the GFS and the URO. That's just two of the models that we use. We have to go all the way through this weekend up until Monday, this upcoming Monday, to see anything start to form here. Now, where it goes beyond that is you're going to see where the uncertainty comes into play because until we get a circulation on this thing, just like any tropical system, we're not really going to see where it wants to go. But there are some models uh, that are favoring more of an easter, northeasterly direction. That would be the GFS highlighted in the white here. This is Thursday. And then we have the Euro that's pointing this more towards the central Gulf and towards the uh, west. So what's playing into here? We have a front that's starting to drop in. Uh, we have that warmer water that's making a play. Basically, we have to wait and see. This is just a waiting game to see where the system wants to go. Hasn't even formed yet. But of course, we are keeping you uh, connected here in your Tropic Center, and we will have the latest updates as we perceive them.